I just finished Golden Girl and I had to do a video right away because I have to talk about it, that's why, because whenever I get done reading an Ellen book, I need to talk about it right away. I need to find out who else read it. I need to talk. Please, please comment below if you've already read this book. Of course, it just came out June 1st. It's over. I can't believe it. I can't believe it's over. I've been waiting so long to read it that I did not want it to be over. And if you've ever watched any of my book reviews on Ellen's books, you know I can be really harsh with her because I expect so much. And when she doesn't deliver it to me, I get really upset. But this one, do not fear. This one is that good. It is such a great concept for a book. There's Vivi Howe. She is an accomplished 51-year-old author and she dies. No spoilers here, beginning of the book stuff. She dies, she goes to heaven, she gets three nudges. She dies, she's running on the road, she's jogging. Somebody hits her and dies. So we don't know who hits her. So that's all another part of the story. The part that I love the most was the idea that when we go to heaven, we get nudges, nudges. I love that, Ellen, because it's had me thinking. <laughs> I was gonna say all weekend, but really I just finished it so quick. It was barely 48 hours. Did my mom or dad give me nudges? Can we give nudges? Can we die and then look down and kind of help our children? I hope she did. I can't think of a time, but I hope she did. I hope we can. What an amazing concept. And the one thing that I do get harsh with Ellen because Sometimes I'm like, mm. I mean, she gets really into talking about songs or movies, current. I don't know. Sometimes I'm like, it seems forced. And that is my only criticism of this book. So it's really minor, but she mentions songs along the way. And it seems like she was trying to fit them in where I'm like, Ellen, it didn't need it. And I don't know, am I being harsh? Let me know. If you read the book and you think I'm being harsh, let me know. But she does it in a lot of her books. This isn't the only one, but sometimes it fits in really well. And then other times I'm like, mm, it doesn't fit in that well, but that's so minor for every other amazing thing that happens in this book that is so minor. And I cried at the end. It was, it's so good. It is a standalone. It is not part of a series. And rumor has it, she's not gonna be writing that much longer. I don't know why, no idea. I don't know why, why do you wanna retire, Ellen? We keep reading your books. They all become huge bestsellers. And then you decide that in your mid fifties, you're just gonna quit on us. Maybe she's kidding. Hopefully, I've seen her, remember? I, I've showed pictures of it. I met her, she's amazing, I love her. I will always read anything she writes. Hopefully it's not only two or three more books, hopefully she will change her mind and maybe we, by buying her books and telling her how much we love her, maybe we can change her mind for her. You never know, let's just hope so. I love the fact Vivi's got three children and she finds out after she goes to heaven how little she knows about her children. I have six children and I think, I wonder if that's the same. I wonder how much we really know our children's lives because she found out a lot of things that she did not know about her children and she wanted to stay with them. And don't we just want to stay with our children? I mean, the, the idea of not being with our children is almost more than I can even comprehend. I cried, I laughed, did I laugh? I don't know, maybe, it doesn't matter. It was, it was such a good book, go get it. If you read it, tell me, tell me below. I gotta have a conversation about it. If you didn't, go get it and then tell me about it. So until my next video.